Today on Earth and Time, we're going to talk about what is a mineral and what is a rock. So often as a geologist, I'll be presenting at places like a school or be talking to folks at a rock show or just talking to friends and family and I get the question of, hey Garrett, what's the difference between a rock and a mineral? Well, what is a rock and what is a mineral? And I think if you show most people any of these things we're looking at here, everybody'd say, well, those are a rock. And yeah, they are what we, we call rocks. However, the question comes up, what is actually the definition of a rock? And what's the definition of a mineral? So let's go ahead and talk about that, about how they're defined and how you'll know one from the other. So what is a mineral? Well, a mineral, by definition, is a naturally occurring inorganic, so in other words, not alive, element or compound having some kind of structure to it as well, some kind of chemical composition. So in this case, we're looking at quartz. So this is a mineral and it's made of silica and oxygen. And quartz is probably the most common mineral we'll run across. Other examples of minerals, I could have something like chlorate, which is in the mica family. I could have something like pyrite. A lot of people know this as fool's gold, and you'll may notice it makes this cubic shape to it. So pyrite would be a mineral. Or I could have something like calcite. Another mineral, this is the blue calcite. So all of these are minerals. So we have quartz, chlorite, pyrite, and calcite. So these are single minerals within this feature. So what is a rock? A rock is an inorganic feature made up of two or more minerals. Like we can see here, I see pieces of quartz. I see pieces of mica on the side here. Uh, looks like maybe there's some amphiboles or biotite in here as well. So this would be a rock. It's made up of two or more minerals. This is a rock. And in this rock, we actually have a leaf fossil. Let's see, it's actually made up of multiple pieces of very fine quartz. A little bit of biotite's probably in here, maybe even a little bit of feldspar that make up this rock. We also can have something like this, and you'll see the banding in there, the white, which is probably some kind of quartz again, and then you see the darker colors in here, maybe something like an amphibole. There could be a little bit of mica in here, and you can see that little sheen on it, which is probably mica. So this feature, this rock, is made up of two or more minerals. We can also have things like this vesicular basalt. Basalt is made up of two or more types of minerals as well. Or we can see this really nice ripple marked sandstone, which again, similar to the one with the leaf fossil over here, is made up of multiple minerals, probably things like quartz and maybe some feldspars and some biotite in here as well, and some different types of clay. So these are types of rocks, things that are made up of two or more types of minerals. And here's a nice look of both those together. So here's our minerals, an inorganic element or compound having an orderly internal structure. You can think of that, that an orderly internal structure is creating this crystal-like form, or maybe this cubic-like form, or this radiating form. And you can think of rocks here as being made up of two or more of these types of features. Uh, all of these, probably have some form of this in it, quartz, but of course they aren't in this beautiful crystal form. They're more like things you'd see as like sand, like on a beach, which is also quartz most often. Thank you all for joining me today to learn about minerals and rocks. I know I learn something new every time I put together one of these videos, doing the research it takes to study this, including reading the definitions again of what is a mineral and what is a rock. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and make sure to hit that bell for notification, which will let you know when the newest videos come out. Thanks for hanging out with me today and have a good one.